The VXX trend following strategy is one of the strategies that's been released by the Connors Group and it's available on tradingmarkets.com. You can purchase the strategy guide there and uh, it will go into details and tell you all about the strategy and the back test results and how uh, the strategy has been performing. The Edge Excel templates that are available in EdgeRater will allow you to get daily signals for the strategy and also allow you to do your own back testing so that you can continually monitor to see how the strategy is currently performing. Now to select the strategy you first look at the list of strategies on the right hand side and VXX trend following strategy is listed there. It uh, may be in a different location on your installation because just depending on where you've put the strategy you can drag and drop these categories to put them in any order. So you select VXX trend following strategy and then the list of templates appears and there's a signals template here and a trade simulation template. So I'm going to select the signals template and uh, one of the things we need to do because this is a VXX only strategy we need to create a symbol list containing VXX. I currently have one here but I'm just going to quickly show you how you would put that together if you don't have it. So I'm going to delete my symbol list and I'm going to click on the new to add a new symbol. Uh, I'm going to set the data provider to be Yahoo. It's very quick to get this data from Yahoo because it's only one symbol and then I'm going to type in VXX for the symbol and you can put a description if you want or you can leave that section blank but uh, basically VIX, uh, VXX is the VIX uh, short-term futures uh, ETN iPath okay so I can select that press my enter key and then all I want to do is uh, let's uh, set the data update options to give me six years of data and let me save the list and the name I'll give it is just VXX and it will put a .txt extension in there and the location it chooses for saving this is the default location for symbol lists which is uh, documents uh, edge rater symbol lists. I'm going to just save that as the vxx.txt and then I'm going to just update this data. So it's going to fetch data from Yahoo uh, and you see it's fetched the data now. I've got data from January the 30th 2009 when this uh, ETF was introduced until uh, April the 18th which is yesterday's end of day. So I close this down now. Um, make sure I have VXX selected as my list here and I can see that I've got data to 418 2013. So uh, once that's set up you don't have to do that again because the list will always be here and available for selecting. You just have to uh, update it once a day. So you come into this template, you hit refresh or end of day update to update the data and uh, then you just hit run to run the template. And very quickly because there is only one symbol to process it will show you the various uh, signals for the strategy. Now let me just close down this pane here so that we can see all of the strategy variations. So they're based on moving averages and, and the fast moving average is listed on the left and then the slow moving average on the right. So 5,15 means that this variation of the strategy is using a fast moving average of 5 and a slow moving average of 15. So we can see that uh, 418 at the end of day on 418 there is an enter long signal for this strategy on the, the 515 version and the 520 version but the other versions and there are four other versions are not showing any uh, signal at all so they're not currently in a position and they're not cur currently signaling a buy or a, uh, a short so we know that we have the enter longs here now what you can do is click on or double click on one of these cells and it will bring up a chart of uh, VXX and there are some layouts that have been added to uh, let you see the moving averages and also the system itself indicating on the bottom here and then there's an overlay which gives you the green arrows and the red arrows indicating buy and sell conditions. So to choose the correct layout you can open up the layouts uh, pane, uh, scroll down to 
the VXX trend following system and then select the layout that's appropriate for the strategy you're looking at. So depending on the parameters that you're using, for instance, if you're using the 2050 version of the of variation of the strategy, you can choose the 2050 uh, layout and that sets all of the parameters correctly for the, the moving averages and the system area on the bottom here and for the overlay too. Okay, so that's the signals template. The other template that's in here is a trade simulation template. So if you want to go back and historically see, uh, get statistical results about what happened in the past, then what you can do is click on trade simulation. Again, make sure that your symbol list has VXX and uh, it's already been selected because we just used it for the signals. And then just hit run. What's going to happen here is it's going to process 24 different variations even though there are six only six uh, parameters you know the 515 uh, 520 1020 1030 1040 and so on there's only six of those but each one of those has a there's a long version there's a short version and then there's a, ver a variation where you would buy uh, on the open and uh, sell on the open and then there's a version where you would buy on the close and sell on the close so the simulation will actually show you all of those and you can sort it by profit and loss and this is basically just a summary so it's showing you a summary of all of the results all 24 of them and uh, this is run over six years because the data that I have in the symbol list I updated for six years worth of data uh, if you only chose two years worth of data then it would give you the latest uh, two years of, uh, of results now when this report is run by the program it also generates an Excel file and it saves that Excel file on your hard drive in the location the default location for saving these reports which is under your documents folder slash edge rater slash reports the summary report is the vxx trend following underscore trade sim report but then each one of the individual variations that was run is also saved as an individual report and if you view those within an excel compatible spreadsheet viewer or uh, i'm actually using excel you will get a full report of this trade simulation including um, a bunch of summary information then there's a worksheet showing you the trade list so a complete list of all the trades that were in the simulation along with all of the profit and loss percentages and uh, days held all the relevant information is included in the uh, trade list tab then there's the daily equity chart which will show you how the uh, sample portfolio performed over time and there's a set of data for the daily equity chart this is this is what the daily equity chart uses to do the charting but you can take this data and if you want to further process this in excel you can you can process it further and uh, so there's one of these for every single one of those strategies so uh, all the information is saved on the hard drive in the reports directory so that's it it's very simple to run the strategy using edge rater and using this uh, edge excel trading template uh, the signals template is something that you could run every evening to get the signals to find out whether there's currently a buy signal going on whether it's currently hold or whether there's a sell short signal going on and if you're following the version of this the variation of the strategy that is uh, close to close so you need to place a order to buy on the close then you need to do an intraday update while the market is open so you use the intraday update button over here that will give you the latest uh, intraday data so right now I hit intraday update the market's already closed but you can see that it's updated my data to the 19th um, that's the the latest data available and if I hit uh, run now then you can see there was an exit long actually in these two strategies so uh, so obviously those those long strategies were, were held for only one day and, uh, and now there is no signal on any of these strategies. So uh, that's something you'd run every night and if you want to follow the strategy then use these Edge Excel templates.